the Class of 2019 School of Health Professions and Sorrell's Education and Social Services Magnet at the Yvonne A. Ewell Townview Magnet Center.
Good evening and welcome. My name is Juliana Sosa, President of the High School of Health Professions. Please stand for the posting of the colors, the pledge to the flags, and the signing of the national anthem. one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare. The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled Banner yet wave O'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. You may be seated. Good evening. My name is Geronda McDonald. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Townview. Your graduate, your graduate has asked that you treat this exercise with the utmost respect. Every graduate deserves to hear his or her name announced. Please refrain from using any noisemakers, horns, bells, yells, or any other distractors that are not conducive to maintaining the dignity and grandeur of this event. We ask that you hold your applause 
and congratulatory yells until all names have been called so that the next name called can be clearly heard. Your assistance will help provide the very best graduation for each student. Thank you in advance for your cooperation to ensure a dignified graduation ceremony. Mayama Yoranda McDonald, yo soy una subdirectora a Townview. Declaración de decoro. A su estudiante le gustaría que muestre sumo respeto ante esta ceremonia. Cada estudiante que se gradúa merece escuchar su nombre. Por favor, absténgase de utilizar matracas, bocinas, campanas, gritos y cualquier otra distracción que no sea propicia para mantener la dignidad y la magnificencia de este evento. Le pedimos que exprese sus aplausos y aclamaciones de felicitación después que se hayan mencionado todos los nombres de los estudiantes. De esa manera, se escuchará claramente el nombre del estudiante que sigue. El mantener el decoro nos ayudará a proporcionar una mejor ceremonia de graduación para su estudiante. Le agradecemos de antemano su cooperación en la solemnidad de la ceremonia de graduación. Gracias. Good evening. I'm Sheila Brown, principal of the Rosie Sorrell School of Education and Social Services at the Yvonne A. Ewell Townview Magnet Center, which is comprised of six outstanding schools in the United States. Welcome to our guest on the platform, faculty and staff, parents, of course, the mighty class of 2019. This is a class of distinction and honor, for they are outgoing and academically sound. Four years ago, with sparkling eyes and ambition for the future, they walked into Townview Magnet Center ready, willing, and able to take any challenge. Your teachers and parents told you to study hard and stay focused. Look at you today. You did just that, and we are proud of you. Remember to make the most of every opportunity. There are no shortcuts to any place worth going, and education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. We are proud of your achievements, and congratulate you for a job well done. Buenas noches a todos. Me llamo Chris Henderson, de la Escuela de Educación y Servicios Sociales, la, la lectora Sheila Brown, directora de la Escuela de Sorrells, Escuela de Educación y Servicios Sociales, in the Yvonne A. Ewell Townview Magnet Center, que consiste de seis escuelas distintas por todos los Estados Unidos. Les doy la bienvenida a nuestros invitados en la plataforma, a los profesores y personaje, a los estudiantes, padres, abuelos, amigos, e invitados, y por supuesto a la impresionante clase de 2019. Esta es una clase honrada, una clase aparte, porque son extrovertidos, verbalmente y académicamente de buen estado. Hace cuatro años, con ojos vivos y llenos de ambición para el futuro, entraron a Townview Center listos, capaces y dispuestos a enfrentar a cualquier reto. Sus maestros y padres les exigieron que estudiaran mucho y que permanecieron enfocados. Mírense ahora. Hicieron lo que les exigimos y nos sentimos orgullosos de todos ustedes. Recuerden que hay que aprovechar de cada oportunidad. Para el destino que vale la pena, no hay atajos. Y la educación es el arma más poderosa para cambiar el mundo. Estamos orgullosos de ustedes y les felicitamos por su trabajo bien hecho. Gracias.
Hello, I am Lysandra Sanders, the principal of the School of Health Professions, and I would like to introduce the platform, the Townview Magnet Center administrators and the faculty. We have Dr. Lou Blackburn, former trustee of District 5. <laughs> Dr. Sharon Quinn, deputy chief of school leadership. <laughs> Ms. Tiffany Hewitt, executive director of Magnet Schools. <laughs> Dr. Sheila Brown, principal of Rosie M. Collins Sorrell School of Education and Social Services. Ms. Yaronda McDonald, Assistant Principal. Ms. Monica Morris, Assistant Principal. Will all faculty seated with the graduates and in the stands please stand. Thank you for all that you have done, both individually and collectively, to contribute to the success of each of the graduates here today. Please be seated. Welcome graduates, parents, faculty, and distinguished guests. I'd like to begin by thanking the Lord for getting me as far as I have today in my life's journey. Also, I'd like to thank him for the friends and faculty he has put in my path as I move forward in life. I'd also like to give thanks to my parents who are here today. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for everything that you've done in my life. Thank you for always sacrificing your sleep to wake up early in the morning and to always be willing to make the drive late at night to pick me up when I stay really late. I hope you're proud of everything we've accomplished and as I go off to college and understand the endless love that I have for you guys as we've made an, a tremendous effort along with me these past four years. Los amo mucho. I'd like to thank the faculty and staff as they have helped guide each and every one of us in our endeavors to make sure that we succeed not only as students but as productive members of society. Let's give a round of applause to the faculty here today. They are the ones who have created the type of environment who, that has built our future leaders and have given the opportunities for, our, for students to reach out and pursue their goals. I'd like to personally thank Ms. Nash for being a wonderful HOSA advisor. You've helped me become a more confident person as you've helped me bring out so much of my potential in my pursuit in a higher position in HOSA and in life. Once again, thank you, Ms. Nash. You were a great advisor, teacher, and friend to me and, many, and to many of the students here today. I'd also like to thank Ms. Marquez for being a great teacher <laughs> who, only, who not only taught me how to become a proper PCT, but has provided endless life lessons every single day that I've been in her class and advice for all of her students. You've been a great teacher for me for the past three years now, Ms. Marquez, and I'm gonna miss you dearly. Lastly, I'd like to thank my biomedical debate team for always sticking together as we stayed really late at school to perfect our argument. You guys have made this a really fun and interesting year for me. You always kept me motivated to see our work to the very end, and I'm glad you guys said yes to be my teammates. I'd also like to thank all of my friends and my PCT classmates who helped make this school year memorable. <laughs> With this, I can truly say that Townview has been an adventure. When I first started my freshman year at Townview, I never saw myself applying to Ivy's, applying for area office, or becoming a leader of my school. But as I reached out to the advisors of our school, I was given the push, push to venture out and accomplish these goals. As we reach out and seek the opportunities we might not even see, we will then go much further than we think possible. Being at Townview has opened up the opportunity for many students to get a glimpse of their future. Now I encourage each and every one of you to make an impact with your future in your community. Thank you. Good evening, parents, family, faculty, friends, and fellow classmates. My name is Lizette Tapia, salutatorian of the Rosie Zero School of Education and Social Services Class of 2019. Bien <laughs> 
Bienvenidos, estimados padres, familias, facultad y compañeros. Les quiero dar las gracias por acompañarnos en esta noche tan especial. Mi nombre es Lisette Tapia y es un honor estar aquí enfrente de ustedes. I'm honored to be standing here in front of a hardworking class. These past four years have been stressful to many, yet it brings to others. We have all faced challenges, some of us on a daily basis, but what matters most is that we persevered. Whenever we thought we just couldn't do it anymore, what happened? Yes, we kept going, we did not give up. Now look at where we are now, now. look around you. Everyone here is here for us, everyone here cares for us. When we thought we couldn't, everyone here was there with us in spirit cheering us on. We are blessed to have people in our court ready to catch us when we think we are falling. All these challenges that we face, whether it be minuscule or not, have shaped us into who we are today. To the, to the people that have helped me throughout these past four years, my parents, brother, teachers, and friends, a los que me han ayudado en los últimos cuatro años, mis padres, mi hermano, maestras y compañeros. A mi mami y papi, muchas gracias por todo lo que han hecho por mí. Yo sé que esta vida no es fácil, pero ustedes me han enseñado que con esfuerzo y determinación, todo lo imposible es posible. Desde pequeña he visto los trabajadores que son y espero que un día llegue a ser como ustedes. Les agradezco por siempre apoyarme y dedicar su tiempo en mí, por llevarme temprano en las mañanas y recogerme en las tardes cuando me quedaba después de escuela. Sé que me podía ir en el autobús, pero como que no me daban ganas. Pero ahí cuando tenga mi carrera profesional, prometo pagarles por la gasolina que gastaban en mí. Voy a extrañar mis mañanas con ustedes en cuales cantábamos en el carro. Gracias por siempre asegurarse que nunca me faltara nada. Sin ustedes, yo no sería la persona que soy. Podría decir muchas cosas más, pero ustedes saben lo mucho que los amo y aprecio. To my older brother, Agustín, thank you. You've always had very high expectations of me that I've always tried my hardest to meet. Although at times it's been a struggle to meet those expectations, I hope I made you proud. I know you don't hear this from me often, but I love you. To the wonderful teachers I've had, I would not be standing here on this stage tonight, on this stage tonight without your endless amount of support. To my math teachers these past four years that have influenced my choice in major, Ms. Becerra, Ms. Barclay, Mr. Flores, and Mr. Collins. Thank you for the constant help and making sure that I understood everything that was taught. And to Mr. Flores for the AP Calculus prep sessions every Saturday morning during the second semester of junior year. And a very big thank you to my cluster teachers, my second moms, who have treated me like their own child and constantly look out for me. You have made ESSM feel like a home. And lastly, my friends. I have been fortunate enough to be friends with such an amazing group of positive, hardworking, and determined individuals. They motivate me to be better, and most importantly, to believe in myself, to love myself. I can't believe the day has come It seems as if it were just yesterday when we were crying at open house because graduation was coming up. I will definitely miss Jackie's. Tu si puedes, mi niña, échale ganas. Eddie's, come on, bro, you got this, you know this, and are prepared for anything. And Yuri's, I'm literally so proud of you. To my friends, I love you guys so much, and I will forever carry you guys in my heart. We've created so many wonderful memories together, I don't know what I would do without y'all. Everyone always tells us that our future starts now, but to my fellow classmates, I want you to know that it is okay to feel like you don't have it all figured out. The word future is honestly very intimidating and is different for all of us. Society, aka social media, would have us believe that we should have life somewhat figured out by now, but guess what? Time will be on our side for the next few years. We're entering some of the best years of our lives and we must truly enjoy and take it all in by creating experiences and taking the time to truly live. We've got to try stuff out. The biggest reason why most of us don't know what to do is because we haven't tasted enough things to know what we really want. We're kids, we're not lost in life, we're just early in the process. So don't beat your soul up if you can't figure it out. We are just starting. Patience and careful planning is key here. And remember to always follow your dreams. No matter what anyone might tell you, you can achieve greatness. Like Steve Jobs once said, don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. 
class of 2019, we've made it. Congratulations and thank you. Good evening. <laughs> Graduates, educators, family and friends, I am honored to stand before you today as one of two valedictorians for the School of Health Professions. <laughs> Alongside Mr. Tree Chong. Class of 2019, despite all odds, here we are today. Sure, at the expense of our well-being at times, but didn't those passing AP scores and certification exam scores make it all worth it? <laughs> as I look out to fellow classmates, I can note one common characteristic amongst every single one of you, and that's determination. Whether it be Matthew delving deep into the realms of arithmetic, Rosa religiously studying her medical laboratory flashcards, or Justin embracing his inner Sal Khan as he led morning group study sessions during, for tests. <laughs> This definitely kept me going, and it was moments like these that served as a catalyst to push me forward when the going got rough. Additionally, I would like to thank my parents. Though they couldn't help me on homework because their own schooling didn't go beyond elementary school, I can always count on them as my support system. I know I might have been a challenge to raise because I just love to involve myself in every possible activity. So, gracias mamá y papá for supporting me in everything I decided to set my mind to. My siblings as well, who regardless of their busy lives, always made an effort to help bring up their little sister. A massive thank you to all of my teachers, both in and out of the school environment, because even if I didn't learn everything about your subject, I can assure you I took a life lesson or two. I would like to give a special thank you to one of my teachers who decided it'd be a great idea to assign health kids with no background in engineering the task of creating a chemistry analyzer. <laughs> Y'all know that. From this excruciating lesson, I picked up a paradigm of impactful collaboration, which I will carry for the, with me for the rest of my life. So thank you, Miss Anderson. <laughs> I would also like to express my appreciation to my lion dance troupe, who made my senior year <laughs> incredibly fun. Hockey, Jaime, John, Will, and Daniel, thank you for being so patient with us, believing in us, and feeding us lots of CeCe's pizza. Now on to the Nationals. In all, I am grateful for everyone who has been a part of my life, because things do happen for a reason, and for a good reason, you are all here seated as the graduating class of 2019. If I were to sum up this class in one word, it'd probably be intelligent, cool, quirky, awesome. And yes, that word does have three dashes. I know that we, the class of 2019, have left an imprint on Townview and our community. Many of you will go on to be successful business leaders, doctors, educators, performers, etc. But keep in mind, your success is measured by the positive impact you live behind. Because you aren't just learning to benefit yourself, but rather, in simplest terms, to make the world a better place. Congratulations, class of 2019. We made it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm most honored to, to stand before you as one of the 2019 class valedictorians. I'm equally honored to be sharing this distinction with Fatima Roque. She is one of a, my good friends and um, it's a wonderful thing that occurred. Um, so for tonight, I would like to start off by, with my thank yous. So, Thank you to the dedicated staff of the School of Health Professions for making sure that every kid got where they needed to be. Thank you to all the teachers for carving my fellow peers and I into the individuals that we are today. Thank you to all the students for never shoving me into the lockers or pulling a wedgie on me like they do in the movies, but instead caring individuals that I couldn't have made it through high school without. 
Thank you to my family and friends for arranging and taking the time to come out and see me tonight. And thank you all for being great human beings that I was able to share these last four years of my life with. So this is not an easy goodbye for me tonight as you guys have been all that I know for like a quarter of my life basically. Uh, I'm, going to miss, I'm going to miss seeing all my friends and acting crazy around them. I'm going to miss being able to run around in Mr. Mears' classroom every day. <laughs> I'm going to miss all of you guys, whether I know you or not. Your smile or frown or anger all impacted me in some type of way. <laughs> so whether you're going to college or the military or just taking a break from school, I trust in what you're doing and I wish you the best of luck in it. I also wish that I could be there to celebrate every new chapter, to witness every success, to see all of your smiles once more. But that is very unlikely. So as a final farewell, I would like to just let you guys know that if you don't ever have anyone to, who believes in you, if you ever don't have anyone to celebrate your accomplishments with, if you don't have anyone, uh, if you're just feeling lost in this vast world, I'll be there, whether in person or in spirit. And you guys made me grow, okay, uh, as an individual and in the best way imaginable. And I know that as I move forward, graduate, uh, become a doctor, get married, uh, have kids and grandkids, and eventually sit down in that rocking chair one day, I will remember you all and the impact you had on my life. And when I'm ready to leave the face of this earth, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm going to bring with me all the memories <laughs> that we, uh, that of how I sang and danced and struggled and laughed and all these wonderful memories that I was able to make with all the individuals that I see before my eyes tonight. And that will always, always prove to me that I've lived a good life and shared it with the right people. Thank you, everyone. Good evening, everyone. I am Eddie Pineda, and I am the valedictorian of the Rosie Sorrells School of Education and Social Services Class of 2019. We not only made it, we destroyed it. <laughs> After four years that flew faster than the speed of light, we have reached the denouement to this particular chapter, and we are now ready to commence a new chapter in this book we call life. I could not be prouder of every single one of you tonight. I am filled with excitement and enthusiasm to be up here sharing this moment with some of the most amazing people I have met. However, we, could not have been, we couldn't have made it to this moment alone. Guided by the help of three groups of people, we have made it to this momentous day of celebration and goodbye. I would like to say thank you to these three groups. The first group, all of the incredible teachers I have had in these past years at Townview, middle school, and elementary school. You are the people that have worked long hours to ensure that we understood what we were being taught. You did so many things for all of us. You have taught us not only specialized knowledge, but the knowledge that will benefit us in the future. I remember when one of my teachers stayed continuously until eight at night to make sure that my speaking was understandable as I was destroying the witness or as a witness was destroying me. I remember when teachers waited past 10 at night staying away from their families to ensure my safety during trips. I remember learning valuable skills such as teamwork and leadership, and I also remember learning 
that there is more to life than just science and math. The second group, all the spectacular people I have gotten the absolute pleasure to meet. Even though some of you have almost got me lost in a different state because I guess maps are hard to read apparently. Well, I'm kidding, I'm kidding though. You all have made these past four years amazing. Anytime and anywhere I was with any of you, it was automatically a better day. You all just added a whole new layer of intrigue to my day, whether it be through jokes, through debates, or even through just simply talking. You all have given me so many memories to cherish for years to come, and I cannot just say how thankful I am for all of you, especially my Mugshaw family over there. You guys have a special place in my heart. Y el tercer grupo, para mis familiares, especialmente mi mamá y papá, que siempre me han motivado, brindándome apoyo para hacer lo correcto, trabajando duro para hacer más dinero, siendo paleteros, y usando eso como una manera de motivarnos para continuar trabajando duro y luchar por el éxito. Sin ustedes, yo no podía estar aquí. Yo sinceramente los quiero mucho. And to my, the third group, to my loving family members, most significantly my mom and dad, who have always motivated me, encouraged me to do what is right, worked hard to make extra money selling ice cream and using that as a way to motivate us to continue working hard and striving for greatness, for always taking me wherever I had to be, even when I had to wake up at five in the morning for a calculus prep session the day of the AP. Without you, I would not stand in the place I stand tonight. I dearly love you all. But let me move forward. I also extend my thanks to two things Two things that are not only found inside us, the class of 2019, but every single person in this arena. These two things have given us plenty of hope and plenty of success, and they will continue to guide us in the future. These two things are determination and persistence. Throughout these four years, there arose challenges and obstacles that could have potentially kept us from achieving something great. And plenty of us were scared of failure, but eventually, we looked at these challenges and obstacles with a stern, determined look and told it to read our lips. You can hold us back. And when things did not work out the first time, we persisted. We persisted until we got what we wanted. And because of this attitude, our class was able to achieve big things. Big things that have proven to be extremely beneficial. However, as we begin to write the next chapter in our life, whether it be through continuing, continuing our education, um, joining the workforce, or serving this wonderful nation of ours, a new set of challenges will arise. And we will have to overcome them to ensure success in our quest for glory. There will most certainly be moments when the unexpected will happen moments when we feel defeated and moments that will test us in a plethora of ways. And to these moments, we echo the wisdom of a wise old master who emphatically stated, do or do not, there is no try. We must look at these obstacles and not simply try to overcome them. We must wage war on them. 
Class of 2019, we are a conquering class of warriors, and we have already overcome so much to make it to this moment. We will keep fighting to ensure our greatness and our glory. I have gotten the pleasure to meet most of you all, my fellow classmates, and I am 500% sure that all of you are capable of achieving greatness. I witnessed you all do so throughout these four years, and I know that you all can do it throughout the course of your lives. So, class of 2019, promise me that no matter what happens, whatever path we choose, we will stand strong. We will not try to achieve great things. We will achieve great things. Through our persistence and through our determination. And class of 2019, if you promise me this tonight, then stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Raise your fist in the, raise your fist in the air with me and chant after me. We will achieve. achieve. Let's go in unison. We will achieve. You may sit back down. Thank you very much. Good evening. I am. Oh shit. Good evening, I am Lindsay Ovalle from the Sorrell School of Education and Social Services. Buenas tardes. Me llamo Lindsay Ovalle y soy de la Escuela de School of Education and Social Services. I would like to introduce the former board member for District 5, Dr. Lou Blackburn. Dr. Blackburn has been a career educator since 1986, beginning with the Dallas ISD as an instrumental music teacher before serving as an assistant principal in the West Dallas area. He served as a principal in Goodrich, Texas and Duncanville, Texas. Dr. Blackburn was an adjunct professor of educational administration at various colleges and universities in the North Texas area. He was elected to the Dallas ISD Board of Trustees in June 2001 and provided leadership in several positions while on the board. El Dr. Blackburn ha sido un educador de carrera desde 1986. Empezando con el Distrito Escolar de Dallas como profesor de música instrumental antes de ser subdirector en el área de West Dallas. El doctor fue director en Goodrich, Texas y Duncanville, Texas. El doctor Blackburn fue profesor adjunto de administración educativa en varias universidades en el norte de Texas. Fue elegido al Consejo de Fideicomisarios del Distrito Escolar de Dallas en junio 2001 y ha proporcionado liderazgo en varios puestos durante su tiempo en el Consejo. Good morning, good morning. Did I say something wrong? Is it afternoon or evening? Was it a good morning? Was it a good afternoon? Good evening then. <laughs> I'm thankful for this opportunity to uh, speak before the uh, 2019 class from the School of Health Professions and the Roses Rail School of Education and Social Services. Uh, you see, for team, it is indeed a privilege and an honor to have this opportunity to address you on this milestone occasion. Congratulations on making it to this point in your life, your commencement into adulthood. Eddie, I will keep my remarks short because I realize how eager you are to get your hands on your diploma. You've worked so hard for it. You are eager to join your family and friends to share your joy with them. You are eager to leave your past and get started with the plans for your future. Tree, you have been favored with great potential. 
I ask you to continue to speak favor over your life. Lizette, I'd encourage you to look at your past because your past has determined where you are at this very moment. What you do today will determine where you are tomorrow. So Eunice, I ask you, are you moving forward or simply standing still? I encourage you to always walk and live in the favor. Now as I reflect over the past 18 years, most of you were born in 2001, the same year that I was elected to the Dallas High District 5, representing Townview and representing you. Jana, you see, I served my best, realizing that no person is perfect, and neither are the decisions that we made. We learned from the few mistakes we made, and thereby have made more wise decisions. Reflect on your first year of school, Lindsay, starting in pre-K. Do you remember your teacher as you looked up to her? Haley, do you remember the other teachers, principals, librarians, counselors, and other school staff who helped shape your education in elementary school? Arturo, what was your favorite subject in middle school? Who were your best teachers, your favorite teachers that showed favor towards you? Ivan, do you remember when the custodian or cafeteria worker talked to you when you needed to hear something positive, something good during a bad time? And Jasmine, when the teacher seemed to be so hard on you about learning, do you remember that teacher assistant or clerk or secretary who helped explain it to you? Jaime, what about that business or community person who visited your school to mentor you, to tutor you, or simply just to listen to you. Faith, do you remember in high school when you had your principal to sit down and just listen to you about your concerns about maybe school food and how great it is, and maybe that student activities that you wanted to do. You show leadership with your classmates. David, I want you to always remember your parents, grandparents, and other family members who have helped you. They were there when others were not. Emily, as you reflect on your past, envision your future. Remember, you are favored. Now graduates, I wish you a whole lot of success in life. Remember what you have learned throughout your 12, 13, or 14 years of school. Go forth throughout the world, representing Townview and the Dallas Independent School District. Your high school years may be over, but remember, your education continues. Your best is yet to come because you are favored. Now, parents, you have done well. Family and friends, I wanted to keep your arms of love around these graduates. Help them find their many successes in life. Graduates, in the midst of your celebrations, I encourage you to find time to remember and thank those who are here to help you and help you get to this moment. Graduates, as a matter of fact, I want you to stand up again. I want you to rise up, graduates. This is a rise up and thank those that are here for you today. Thank those that help you get here to this moment. His grace and mercy. Thank them for their constant support, understanding, and sacrifice. Graduates, you have done well. You are faithful. Go forth and represent us well. We're proud of you. Congratulations. As principals of the Yvonne A. Yule Townview Magnet Center, we hereby affirm that each candidate has met all requirements for graduation as determined by the state of Texas in the Dallas Independent School District, and they are qualified to receive their diplomas 
or they are otherwise qualified to participate in this graduation ceremony, consistent with the laws of the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District. As Deputy Chief of School Leadership of the Dallas Independent School District, I am pleased to confirm the certification of the 2019 graduating class of the School of Health Professions and the Sorrells School of Education and Social Services at the Yvonne A. L. Townview Center. Representative Dallas Independent School District Board of Trustees, I am indeed pleased to award these diplomas tonight, thereby certifying that these students are graduates of the Dallas Independent School District. Fatima Roque. Tree Trump. Jana Hill. Juliana Sosa. Hanan Aloe. Devani Almanza Machuca. Andrea Amador. Eunice Amador. Cristina Arias. Myra A. Artista. Gabriela N. Armstrong. Tamia A. Bafo. Crystal Balasu. Gabriela Bernal. Kennedy Faith Dion Bivens. Lisef A. Bustos. Catherine A. Cackert. Jacqueline Campos. Brianna Karina Cardenas. Moraima E. Caralero Diaz. Valerie Carranza. Carla J. Castañeda. Alexis Castilleja. Alberto Castillo. Denise Castillo. Joanna Castillo. Luz Castro, Jocelyn Cisneros, Stephanie Contreras, Letsy Corro, Jacqueline Diaz, Beijing Duan, Ariel M. Duenas. Valencia D. Dupree. Brianna C. Epps. Ana L. Flores. Cyan Flores. Nadia A. Gallardo. Alma O. Gamon. 
Daniela G. Garcia. Rocio G. Gaetan. Matthew A. Gomez. Brianna A. Govea. Brianna Granados. Luzma E. Grimaldo. Giovanna S. Guerrero. Trinity X. Gutierrez. Yaret Gutierrez. Haley N. Hanks. Astrid S. Hernandez. Carmen Hernandez. Caroline Hernandez. Daniela Hernandez. Oscar B. Hernandez. Vivian Hernandez. Rosa G. Herrera. Scarlett Herrera. Davion Hollywood. Ebony Houston. Natalie Huerta. Elizabeth Ibarra. Daniel A. Islas. Catherine D. Jackson. Angelica M. Hasso. Joyne A. Johnson. Anija G. Jones. Zacoby Jones. Berenia G. Janji Tu. Isaac K. Kuriakos. David Manuel Lara. Diane Leon. Tyranny J. Lewis. Miriam Lopez. Ricardo Lopez. Sebastian A. Lopez. Hannah Natalie Maldonado Lainez. Giselle Martinez. Jacqueline Martinez. Melody Martinez. Dora Mata. Jasmine Medrano. Cynthia Mendoza. Albert Montes. Jimena Mora. Alejandro Morales. Kiara Morgan. Rosa Naro. Margarito Nava. Kayla Nelson. Young Wen. Laura A. Acando. Sarah Ann Ortiz. Alfredo A. Palacios. Arturo Palmas Reyes. Brisa Peñalosa. Jesus Perez Ortega. Melissa Perez. Navid A. Primji. Evidia Pupo Jaimes. Isaac Quinones. Ine Ramirez. Paola Ramirez. Shirley Ramirez. Raul Resendez. Isaiah Rendon Rock. Casey Reyes. Micah Alexandria Riles. Elizabeth Rodriguez Delgadillo. Abigail Julissa Rodriguez. Anaí Yamile Rodriguez. Belen Rodriguez. Brenda Rodriguez. Jeanette Salazar. Victoria A. Salcedo.
Diana Salinas. Emily Carolina Sanchez. Tasia Sanders. Michaela Lynette Sanders. Victor M. Sandoval. Cynthia Serraria. Jasmine Sariano. Morgan Sasser. Grayson A. Servine. Alfredo Sierra. Leslie Johanna Silerio. Sebastian Silva. Beatriz Solano. Edgar Tirado. Ronnie Torres. Elias Trevino. Miguel Vasquez. Adán Abimael Velázquez. Kate Nazarene Galicia Villapacide. Sandra Sofia Villegas. Justin Zui Tan Vo. Haley Jeanette Ward. Eric Dahir Yanes. Yemi Yilma. Esther Nadine Zavala. And now presenting the graduates of the Rosie Sorrell School of Education and Social Services. Eddie Ariel Pineda. Lizette Tapia. Delilah Nicole Acuna. Erica Janae Adams. Noemi Sugre Alvarez. Alyssa Alia Arellano, Jacqueline Banda, Kaylin Benitez, Andy Celis, Oscar Campos Maldonado, Andy Celis, Efraín Serino, Yuri Chagoya. Coral Chavez. Elpidio Cuadros. Alondra Marie de la Fuente. Jordan Ariel Doty. Kedrana Estrada. Mariela Yalin Gaitan. Jacqueline Garcia. Jaquela Sheree Gibson. Alejandra Francesca Giron Vides. Nancy Gonzalez. Giovanni Guadalupe. Itzamar Gudino Valdez. Maria Isabel Gutierrez. Leslie Sarai Guzman. Rivers Noah Hurd. Donnie Faith Hogg. Casey Mariah Jackson. 
Jonathan Michael Johnson. Kristen Santasha Kerr. Roderick L. King II. Brittany Larios. Chloe Michelle Lee. Carlos Lopez Ortega. Vanessa Lopez. Emily Malagón. Yesenia Marilyn Mancia. Eileen Desiree Martinez. April Renee Mason Taylor. Manye McKinney. Marilyn Mejia. Melody Jitsunami Munoz. Dulce Adelia Navarro. Faith Brianna Nelms. Brooke Michelle Nevels. Tree Wynn. Kirsten Renee Nicholson. Smart. Giselle Olivares. Emily Otero. Lindsay Norma Awaye. Michelle Palacios. Fatima Berenice Paniagua. Violeta Perez Fuentes. Ariel Dorsey Phillips. Maria Guadalupe Quintero. Javier Reyes. Angela Reina. Trinity Shanice Rome. Erica Michelle Richardson. Jaime Adrian Rodriguez. Naomi Rodriguez. Alexandra Salas. Morelia Salazar Herrera. Anita Nicole Salinas. Kira Christine Sanders. Leslie Sierra. Patience Monet Smith. Matthew Soto. Lola Brianna Stewart Morris. Liam Stewart. Jamie Tamayo. Lisette Tamayo. Adriana Torres. Reagan Tucker. Aniele Tudon. Angel Udense. Angel. <laughs> Evelyn Verdin. Christopher Villalobos. Taylor Celeste Washington. Emily Yanez de la Torre.
we close this ceremony, let us be reminded that graduating from high school is the first milestone. Remember, life is a journey. It allows you to fulfill your dreams and work to your potential. Remember what your parents and teachers have taught you and always stay focused. Believe in yourself and do not look back. Go forth and do great things. Would all seniors please stand? To the parents, to the parents of the graduates, after 18 years of dedication and sacrifice, this graduation is dedicated to you. Graduates, you may move your tassels from the right to the left. On behalf of the principals, I now declare you